It's behind the facial recognition technology that allows you to unlock your phone with just a glance and it plays a crucial role in the recommendation systems of platforms like Netflix and YouTube suggesting content that aligns with your interests so one of the most striking real world example of deep learning is in the field of healthcare imagine a system that can analyze medical images with such precision that it rivals experienced radiologists deep learning algorithms are being used to detect diseases like cancer at early stages significantly improving the chances of successful treatment and saving countless lives so another example is in the automotive industry where deep learning is at the core of developing self driving cars so these cars uses deep learning models to understand and react to their environment in real time making autonomous driving a reality so how does this incredible technology work so now let's break it down and understand the basics craving a career upgrade Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. So before we move on, here is a quick info for you. If you want to learn AI and ML from the industry expert, try Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, ChatGPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box below and the pin comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is deep learning? Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which itself is a branch of artificial intelligence. Unlike traditional machine learning models, which require manual feature extraction. Deep learning models automatically discovers representation from raw data. So this is made possible through neural networks, particularly deep neural networks, which consist of multiple layers of interconnected nodes. So these neural networks are inspired by the structure and the function of human brain. Each layer in the network transforms the input data into more abstract and composite representation. For instance, in image recognition, the initial layer might detect simple features like edges and textures. while the deeper layer recognizes more complex structure like shapes and objects so one of the key advantage of deep learning is its ability to handle large amount of unstructured data such as images audios and text making it extremely powerful for various application so stay tuned as we delve deeper into how these neural networks are trained the types of deep learning models and some exciting application that are shaping our future types of deep learning Deep learning AI can be applied supervised unsupervised and reinforcement machine learning using various methods for each the first one supervised machine learning in supervised learning the neural network learns to make prediction or classify that data using labeled data sets both input features and target variables are provided and the network learns by minimizing the error between its prediction and the actual targets a process called back propagation CNN and RNN are the common deep learning algorithms used for tasks like image classification, sentiment analysis and language translation. The second one, unsupervised machine learning. In unsupervised machine learning, the neural network discovers patterns or clusters in unlabeled data sets without target variables. It identifies hidden pattern or relationship within the data. Algorithms like autoencoders and generative models are used for tasks such as clustering, dimensionality reduction, and anomaly detection the third one reinforcement machine learning in this an agent learns to make decision in an environment to maximize a reward signal the agent takes action observes the records and learns policies to maximize cumulative rewards over time deep reinforcement learning algorithms like deep q networks and deep deterministic poly gradient are used for tasks such as robotics and game playing moving forward let's see what are the artificial neural networks Artificial neural networks (ANNs) inspired by the structure and the function of human neurons consist of interconnected layers of artificial neurons or units. 
The input layer receives data from the external resources and it passes to one or more hidden layers. Each neuron in these layers computes a weighted sum of inputs and transfers the result to the next layer. During training, the weight of these connections are adjusted to optimize the network's performance. A fully connected artificial neural network includes an input layer or more hidden layers and an output layer. Each neuron in a hidden layer receives input from the previous layer and sends its output to the next layer. So this process continues until the final output layer produces a network response. So moving forward, let's see types of neural networks. So deep learning models can automatically learn features from data, making them ideal to tasks like image recognition, speech recognition, and natural language processing. So the most common architecture in deep learning are the first one, feed-forward neural network, FNNs. So these are the simplest type of neural network where information flows linearly from the input to the output. They are widely used for tasks such as image classification, speech recognition, and natural language processing, NLP. The second one, convolutional neural network, designed specifically for image and video recognition. CNNs automatically learn features from images, making them ideal for image classification, object detection, and image segmentation. The third one, recurrent neural networks, RNNs, are specialized for processing sequential data time series and natural language. They maintain an internal state to capture information from previous input, making them suitable for tasks such as speech recognition, NLP, and language transition. So now let's move forward and see some deep learning application. The first one is autonomous vehicle. Deep learning is changing the development of self-driving car. Algorithms like CNNs process data from sensors and cameras to detect objects, recognize traffic signs, and make driving decisions in real time, enhancing safety and efficiency on the road. The second one is healthcare diagnostic. Deep learning models are being used to analyze medical images such as X-rays, MRIs, and CT scans with high accuracy. They help in early detection and diagnosis of diseases like cancer, improving treatment outcomes, and saving lives. The third one is NLP. Recent advancement in NLP powered by deep learning models like Transformer, ChatGPT have led to more sophisticated and human-like text generation, translation, and sentiment analysis. So application include virtual assistant, chatbots, and automated customer service. The fourth one, deep fake technology. So deep learning techniques are used to create highly realistic synthetic media known as deep fakes. While this technology has entertainment and creative application, it also raises ethical concern regarding misinformation and digital manipulation. The fifth one, predictive maintenance. In industries like manufacturing and aviation, deep learning models predict equipment failures before they occur by analyzing sensor data. Their proactive approach reduces downtime, lowers maintenance cost, and improves operational efficiency. So now let's move forward and see some advantages and disadvantages of deep learning. So first one is high computational requirements. So deep learning requires significant data and computational resources for training. Whereas advantage is high accuracy, achieves a state-of-the-art performance in tasks like image recognition and natural language processing. Whereas deep learning needs large labeled datasets, often require extensive labeled dataset for training, which can be costly and time-consuming together. So second advantage of deep learning is automated feature engineering. Automatically discovers and learn relevant features from data without manual intervention. The third disadvantage is overfitting. So deep learning can overfit to training data, leading to poor performance on new unseen data. Whereas the third deep learning advantage is scalability. So deep learning can handle large complex data set and learn from massive amount of data. So in conclusion, deep learning is a transformative leap in AI, mimicking human neural networks. It has changed healthcare, finance, autonomous vehicles, and NLP. So with this, we have come to end of this video. If you have any question or doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. A team of experts will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn.